For my financial project proposal, Greater Athletic Performance is focusing on youth sports and benefiting the community. The topic I chose for Greater Athletic Performance is adding a new baseball and softball training facility. This will include 10 full-length batting cages, 8 pitching machines, 20 buckets of new balls, a full-size indoor turf field, and 15 professional tees. The description of my proposal. Youth sports are a constant, flourishing industry that develops young people into powerful leaders. It is important to involve the families in the community with greater athletic performance. Branching out to new markets is a beneficial way to build a successful business. We want to choose a warehouse location, hire knowledgeable staff to run the new warehouse location, buy, rent, or lease equipment. We want to locate top tier companies so we can rent our largest equipment, advertise and market our new location, register youth teams and individual clients, find sponsors willing to back the company, create and sell merchandise for extra income. Budget. For example, some available income sources are merchandise sales, investment income, sponsorships as previously mentioned, um, previous savings, donations, fundraiser events, membership sales, and private lessons. Fixed and variable costs. Fixed and variable costs are defined as as fixed costs remaining the same regardless of sales and variable costs changing based on your sales activity. Some examples for the new training facility are mortgage, utilities, salaries, and then regarding variable costs, raw materials, commissions, advertising, transportation, and possible event planning costs. Contribution margin. Calculating the contribution margin is sales revenue minus variable costs. My contribution margin was $2,122. According to the Investopedia Staff Corporate Finance and Accounting, the description is the contribution margin represents the portion of a product's sales revenue that isn't used up by variable costs and so contributes to covering the company's fixed costs or remaining fixed costs. When it comes to the break-even analysis, we have our fixed costs, variable costs, sales price per private lesson as the units, and then we have our break-even and break-even in dollars. The graph shown to the right is where we break even the total cost and total revenue equal out in order to find the break-even analysis. At $20,143.75, 20, we will break even as a company. The social impact from the Open Access Journal of Sports Medicine, the positivity of sports greatly outweighs the negative. Kids are more active, learn sportsmanship skills, and discipline, just to name a few. Sports teach life lessons, and greater athletic performance wants to be a part of developing great adults for the future. Thank you.